Hello and welcome. My name's Gamepad Pebius, and have you guys tried Plague Incorporated? Because I have. And then this game was released in 2012, uh, May, for iOS and Android. It's a pathogen simulation game, which means you, the player, will evolve various diseases in an attempt to infect and kill the world. What a wonderful premise. But anyway, let, let's, let's get on to the discussion. How it plays. First of all, I want to point out, this is a grand strategy game. Uh, it's the only way I can describe it with any sort of accuracy. All you've got to do is replace your troops with germs and viruses and spores and all manner of not so friendly microbiology you'll pretty much spend most of the game clicking bubbles that will appear over the map uh, in an attempt to get DNA now that DNA is used to upgrade and mutate if you will your disease that you're currently using I like to use the name we are all going to die as my disease just so when the news reports come up they will say we are all going to die has infected 50,000 people or, or whatever it will say but essentially you use the DNA or you don't use it because half the strategy in this game is to pick your moment pick your moment to strike it's very much a difficult game to get right the first time but once you start getting it right and understanding the the methods and the way that people disease gets transferred and all the different upgrades and you've played through it once or twice you'll eventually come to the conclusion that this game is hard and yes it is hard even on easy sometimes I still fail at this game that's no bad thing though because you remember, you're wiping out the entire of Earth, and humans are pretty resilient little bastards. Now, for probably the most common question after explaining a game to someone, why should I play it? Well, if you've ever wanted a game, a quick game, where in the span of 20 minutes, you can go from infecting patient zero to a mass world epidemic, and if you have the game running on high speed, it doesn't take much longer than about 20 minutes per game, then this is the game for you. This is, if you've ever wanted to essentially rule the world using your biological and pathological, anyway, your disease knowledge, then this is it. This is the, the ultimate game for you. Um, I, anyone who's interested in biology, anyone who's interested in grand strategy, really anyone who has sort of an interest in science or even hygiene, the, you know, this approaches so many aspects of society from a really unique way and it doesn't shy away from doing it in a very tongue-in-cheek way. Which is is kind of nice. Say that it's that essentially, the, after you've played this game, you will notice people not washing their hands. You will notice little things that people do that could be spreading pathogens in your direction. And as lovely as that is, and as wonderful as that is for a reason to play a game. Not many other games draw you draw back out into the real world like this one. So that is why you should play it. Now, you wouldn't want to play this game if you want something with some substance, some meat, some story, uh, some characters, some fight mechanics. Or, you know, you're not gonna find much of that here. And if you do, please tell me where it is, because um, that could be interesting, and maybe I should have known about that. However, as far as I've looked, there isn't. Now, 
for all of its good things it does, and you can tell that it does a lot of things right, the downside it comes when it seems a tad shallow. The the interface and the way that people uh, you can tell underneath the hood, air quotes, under the hood, there is a lot of complexity with the way that the disease spreads and the the different mutations which allow it to spread in different ways. There is a lot of complexity in this game. However, it still feels quite simple. In terms of what has changed from the iOS and Android versions to the PC version, it's not much, really. A bit more information in the overworld screen, and some pretty cool 3D visuals. That That is pretty much the long and short of what has changed from the iOS to the PC version. Now for the final fight, price versus play. Now. First thing to remember, this game on the PC is currently early access, which means it's not done, but it's getting there very, very quickly. The developers, I have to hand it to them, are doing a lot quite quickly. It's quite nice to see a game that's, that's coming along this nicely. It's currently around 15 bucks, 12 pounds for my fellow countrymen, but if you're not sure it's worth you know, fifteen bucks, twelve pounds. Then, what I'd suggest is get the iOS version. I mean, or the Android version, because it's the same game. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be completely brutally honest. It's the same game. There's nothing different, really. Um, I could play on my phone just as happily as I could play it on this PC. But a reason I bought it on the PC was because I enjoyed it on the phone and I expected some new features, which there are, but they're not, they're not new features as much as features that were pay-locked in, in the iOS version. So if you want to buy the iOS version, that is probably my best bet for you. And then come back to this maybe in three months time six months time and see what they've added see what the, that's happened here but as for now this has been plague inc evolved and i hope you've liked this first episode of have you guys tried uh, this is a new segment that i'm going to be trying from here on uh, every week I plan to get one of these out no specifics on dates yet because of uh, how I work but uh, thank you for watching the video like favorite comment subscribe I will reply to every single comment that people give me because I'm nice like that and hopefully I'll be able to continue doing that for the rest of these so tell me what you liked tell me what it is that you enjoy about this game and if there's any other games quite like it, because I haven't found one yet. So, I've been Gamepan Peebius, and thank you, and goodbye. Nathan Fillion.